Welcome to the Maestro Circe podcast, where English learners worldwide learn and increase fluency in American English. As an English learner who moved to the United States of America more than 40 years ago, I began learning American English with the guidance and encouragement of my teachers. As an American English teacher with over 30 years of experience teaching English learners in California, USA, I know that learning English is neither easy nor simple. Learning English takes discipline, motivation, and hard work. Let's work together to help you succeed. Welcome to the 42nd episode of the Learn American English with Maestro Cerci podcast. Today we're going to focus on two learning topics to help English learners succeed. In today's episode we're going to introduce our listeners to the simple past tense. After this segment, we're going to help increase English listening comprehension and knowledge about Southern California, United States of America. We will focus on the eighth part of our ebook, Weekend Road Trips in Southern California, United States of America. In today's episode, we will listen to Chapter 4, Indulging in Culinary Delights, including subchapters Wine Country Escapes as well as Authentic Mexican Cuisine and Craft Beer Culture. You're also invited to read our ebook online and interact with our artificial intelligence chatbot by visiting the ebook section of our educational website, www.serse.com. Are you ready? Let's begin. Understanding simple past tense. When we talk about the past, we use the simple past tense to describe actions that happened and were completed at a specific time in the past. In English, the simple past tense is formed by adding ed to regular verbs. For example, what becomes walked in the simple past tense. Irregular verbs, on the other hand, do not follow this rule and have unique forms in the simple past tense. For instance, the simple past tense of go is went and the simple past tense of eat is ate. It's important to memorize the irregular verbs as they do not follow a set pattern like regular verbs do. Forming simple past tense. To form the simple past tense, we usually take the base form of the verb and add it for regular verbs. Here are some examples. Regular verb. Base form, play. Simple past, played. Irregular verb. Base form, swim. Simple past, swam. Using simple past tense in sentences. Simple past tense is commonly used to talk about actions that were completed in the past. Here are some examples. I visited my grandmother yesterday. She studied for her exams last night. They played soccer after school. Time expressions with simple past tense. When using the simple past tense, we often use time expressions to specify when the action took place. Some common time expressions used with the simple past tense include Yesterday Last week Two days ago In 1999 When I was a child It's important to pay attention to these time expressions as they help clarify the timeline of events in the past. Negative and question forms to make negative statements in the simple past tense, we use the auxiliary verb did followed by not in the base form of the main verb. For example, She did not watch the movie. They did not go to the party. In questions, we invert the subject and the auxiliary verb did. For example, Did you finish your homework? Did they visit the museum? Practice makes perfect. To become more comfortable with using the simple past tense, it's essential to practice regularly. Try writing sentences or short paragraphs describing past events using the simple past tense. By practicing consistently, 
you'll improve your understanding and mastery of this important aspect of English grammar. Remember, the simple past tense helps us narrate past actions and events clearly and effectively. Keep practicing and soon you'll be using it with confidence. Here are some more examples of irregular verbs in the simple past tense. Go, went. See, saw. Take, took. Drive, drove. Eat, ate. Drink, drank. Buy, bought. Run, ran. Write, wrote. Break, broke. Irregular verbs can be tricky because their past tense forms do not follow a set pattern like regular verbs. It's important to familiarize yourself with these irregular forms through practice and repetition. Here are some common irregular verbs that students might find challenging. Be, am, is, are, was, were. Have, has, had. Do, does, did. Say, said. Get, got. Make, made. See, saw. Come, came. Know, knew. Think, thought. These irregular verbs are frequently used in everyday English communication, so it's essential for students to familiarize themselves with their past tense forms to effectively communicate in the simple past tense. You are listening to the ebook Weekend Road Trips in Southern California, United States of America by Meister Cerci. Today we will focus on Chapter 4 Indulging in Culinary Delights, including subchapters, Wine Country Escapes, as well as Authentic Mexican Cuisine and Craft Beer Culture. You can also read this text online and interact with our artificial intelligence chatbot by visiting the ebook page of our website, www.serse.com. And now, let's begin. Chapter 4 Indulging in Culinary Delights Wine Country Escapes when it comes to Southern California wine country, there's one place that immediately comes to mind the enchanting Temecula Valley. With its breathtaking scenery nestled between coastal mountains and expansive desert, this magical region is home to over 40 wineries that consistently produce exceptional varietals. Imagine embarking on a leisurely drive through this picturesque valley the allure of lush vineyards and charming wineries calling out to you. The air is filled with the tantalizing scent of ripe grapes, teasing your senses and coaxing you to explore the hidden gems that lie ahead. Each winery in the Temecula Valley possesses its own unique personality, promising a sensory journey like no other. Take, for example, Ponte Winery, a place that transports you to a Mediterranean-inspired villa as soon as you step foot inside. The winery boasts a tranquil pond, and the serene beauty that surrounds you is simply mesmerizing. I find myself savoring their acclaimed Sauvignon Blanc, enveloped in the warmth and charm of this idyllic setting. And then there's Wilson Creek Winery, where the air is filled with the rich aromas of their award-winning almond sparkling wine. As I take that first sip, I am immediately captivated by the dance of flavors on my palate, the almond and apple notes tantalizing my taste buds and leaving me craving more. But the journey doesn't stop there. As I venture further into Southern California's wine country, Santa Barbara County beckons with its own collection of superb wineries. Here, the cool ocean breezes create the perfect climate for producing exceptional Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. As I drive along the scenic Santa Inez Valley, I am greeted by sweeping vineyards and charming tasting rooms, each one inviting me to sample the fruits of their labor. And at Fess Parker Winery, 
I am immediately immersed in the vibrant ambience of this Santa Barbara wine scene. With every sip of their velvety Pinot Noir, I am transported to the rolling hills and sun-soaked beaches that define this region a truly magical experience. And let's not forget about the Tumi Cellars, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of Santa Barbara. Here, I am treated to the opportunity to taste world-class red wines, including their renowned Anderson Valley Pinot Noir and Merlot. It's a wine lover's paradise that truly showcases the artistry and craftsmanship behind each bottle. But the journey doesn't end there. No wine tasting adventure in Santa Barbara County would be complete without a visit to the stunning city of Santa Barbara itself. The downtown area is bursting with life, from charming boutiques to upscale restaurants. And of course, there are wine bars that offer the region's finest selections. One of my favorite moments is indulging in a glass of Santa Maria Valley Syrah at Santa Barbara Winery, all while taking in the breathtaking panorama of the Pacific Ocean from their inviting patio. Southern California's wine country is a tapestry of vineyards that paint the landscape in hues of greens and purples. A weekend road trip through this region is not just an opportunity to explore the artistry of winemaking, but also a chance to indulge in new flavors and bask in the tranquility of the picturesque surroundings. Whether you choose to wander through the enchanting Temecula Valley or embrace the vibrant spirit of Santa Barbara County, this wine-tasting journey is an undeniable allure that will awaken your senses and leave you with memories to cherish for a lifetime. So, get your map, roll down the windows, and embark on an adventure that will truly make you feel alive. Authentic Mexican Cuisine have you ever embarked on a culinary journey that left your taste buds buzzing with excitement? Let me take you on a delicious adventure I recently embarked on in Southern California, where I discovered the vibrant and authentic flavors of Mexican cuisine. It all began in Boyle Heights, a neighborhood bursting with history and charm. Nestled in a quiet corner, I stumbled upon a hidden gem that instantly captivated my senses. The heavenly scent of freshly made tortillas filled the air as I entered the humble establishment. The warmth of the greeting and the lively chatter of locals enjoying their favorite dishes enveloped me in a sense of community. With every mouth-watering bite of street tacos filled with perfectly seasoned carne asada and savory soaps topped with creamy guacamole and tangy salsa, I was transported to the vibrant streets of Mexico. Eager to uncover more culinary treasures, I ventured deeper into the heart of Los Angeles. My next stop was a small family-owned restaurant renowned for their traditional mole enchiladas. This place was the epitome of tradition, with a secret mole recipe passed down through generations. Each bite of the dark, velvety sauce, infused with an intricate blend of spices and a hint of chocolate, was a flavor explosion. The tender shredded chicken, encased in a warm corn tortilla and smothered in the luscious mole sauce, created a symphony of flavors that I delighted in with every forkful. But the excitement didn't stop there. In downtown Los Angeles, I stumbled upon a vibrant outdoor market that transported me straight to the heart of Mexico. The air was filled with the intoxicating aromas of grilled corn, smoky chili peppers, and sizzling meats. It was an invitation I simply couldn't resist. Soon, I found myself devouring the authentic delights of street food fare. 
from the tangio loads, slathered in a creamy combination of mayonnaise, cheese, and chili powder, to the sinfully delicious churros that melted in my mouth, each bite was a revelation of flavors and textures that left me craving for more. As I reflect on my culinary escapade through Southern California's Mexican cuisine scene, I am overcome with awe at the breadth and diversity of flavors waiting to be discovered. From the hidden gems of Boyle Heights to the bustling streets of downtown Los Angeles, each bite tells a story of generations preserving their culinary traditions. So, whether you're a seasoned foodie or an adventurous traveler, I implore you to immerse yourself in the tantalizing flavors of authentic Mexican cuisine in Southern California. It's an experience that will ignite your taste buds and foster a deep appreciation for the rich cultural tapestry that defines this region. So, come join me on this flavorful journey and let your senses be transported to the heart of Mexico. Craft Beer Culture Have you ever truly experienced the magic of craft beer culture? I mean really delving into the heart and soul of it all. Well, let me tell you, my friend, there's no better place to dive into this world than the incredible breweries scattered throughout Southern California. Each brewery is a world of its own, brimming with character and bursting with taste. Whether you find yourself in the sleek and modern taprooms of San Diego or the cozy brew pubs of Los Angeles, there's a brewery that will capture your heart and taste buds. These places aren't just spaces to enjoy a pint, they're sanctuaries where brewers pour their hearts and souls into every single creation. The ingredients are carefully hand-picked, the flavors masterfully crafted, and the result is a symphony of taste like you've never experienced before. But, my friend, it doesn't end there. Oh no, there's more. Just imagine yourself walking through a vibrant beer festival in the heart of Southern California. The sun is shining, laughter fills the air, and glasses clink with anticipation. You find yourself joining the sea of beer enthusiasts, eager to sample the incredible offerings. The choices are staggering, from hop-forward IPAs that make your taste buds jump for joy to rich and complex stouts that make you feel like you're sipping on pure decadence. You strike up conversations with fellow beer lovers, sharing recommendations, and immersing yourself in the sheer joy of it all. And let's not forget the taste. Ah, the taste. Southern California's craft beer scene is an intricate tapestry of flavors just waiting to be explored. If you're a fan of fruity and tropical notes, you'll be in heaven with a West Coast IPA. But if you prefer something with a little more depth and character, a Belgian farmhouse ale might be more your style. The choices are endless, my friend, and each sip takes you on a journey, revealing new and exciting flavors you never knew existed. So, my friend, I implore you to hop aboard the craft beer train and embark on a road trip through Southern California. Explore the local breweries, soak up the atmosphere at beer festivals, and let your taste buds run wild with the incredible flavors that await you. Lift your glass high, my friend, and join me in toasting to the symphony of craft beer in this sun-soaked wonderland. Cheers! Thank you for being part of today's podcast with Maestro Circe, where English learners worldwide learn American English. Due to popular demand, we are now sharing educational podcasts twice a week, on Sundays and Wednesdays. 
In the meanwhile, if you'd like to access a variety of educational offerings, feel free to visit our website at www.serseea.com. Learning English takes discipline, motivation, and hard work. Keep up the good work.